after a long 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 time I'm back at the boat and as you can see the method of covering her up this time worked like meh it's called a mediocre I don't know let's uncover her and see how much water is inside it's too much water inside it's not dangerous but I need to come up with a much more sophisticated cover system Maybe later. I have no idea right now. Those are booms. One of is made of aluminium and the other is made of wood. And the wooden one is the old from my old rig. And my idea now is to combine them and make basically a large support for a larger cover. You can see it over there on the land. It's considerably more larger, it's essentially larger than the ship itself, um, but I, th I figured if I uh, create some kind of slope and if I could reach this structure here, then I have a much more better uh, slope for the rain to, to dribble off to the sea and not, build, not um, uh, gathering into the small dumps in the cover. I connected the, bo uh, the booms with uh, some rope and I tested it already. I leaned it on it with my whole body weight, which is roughly around 90 kilogram. It bent it a little bit uh, and it made some squeaky noise, but it was not breaking at all. So um, it's all tight and it reaches indeed this point. Now I will attach this on this side so that it's not wobble around and then. Uh, I hope this will be sufficient for a good cover. Just a very short addition to it to lift it a little bit up further. But what I want to do now is to remove the remaining walls of the cockpit. Some rough sea in the harbor. Oh boy. Ew. I marveled why it is so hard to remove this piece of. This is actually hardwood. This is plywood. And here's the answer the hardwood is glued to a layer of glass fiber. And this glue connection is quite solid so it will come off that easy. I decided to um, make an incision here and remove the glass fiber with the hardwood. Let's see if this works out. Uh, it was too tedious to to basically make incisions just with a small bite here so I decided to drive it like a wedge between the heart and the fiber glass and then slowly pull it from the fiber glass and it apparently it worked quite well so next step the plywood I think it is better to remove the weather deck now and then this plywood because it goes pretty deep in there and I think it is not so easy to pull it just out. I think there may be some screws in it or some uh, bedding compound. I don't know. So let's try to remove this portion of the weather deck. Oh, and of course, first I have to remove the clamps and maybe some of the fittings. It's funny. At the time I was working, this small spider had enough time to build a web. <laughs> this, that metal thing was, was inside here, but it looks quite alive when it wiggles. Wait. <laughs> it is not that difficult to remove the plywood. The, the nails are... Better those here. 
you can see the nails are quite rusty and the, the wood uh, the, the the construction the, no the, the framework is uh, quite wet so the nails have not so much support so I think with slow and steady I will peel away all the weather deck until I'm right over there yeah this is so far the worst I found. It was covered basically by this plywood and apparently was never lifted up for why wow, look at it. This is ancient dirt. This is ancient dirt. Man Blech. Let's adjust the brightness. Wonderful. As you can see, it is freaking dark. And what's over here is so nasty that I can't make any sense of. Here are, I think those are um, similar materials to that. What I'm still marveling about what is really what it really is, but I have kind of an idea what it could be, and I'm really not sure what what's about. To this because it seems that the middle layer here between the really really rotten wood and the not that sort of rotten timber is the actual hull of the ship. If this is true then the actual hull of the ship consists out of the same material as I'm marveling about and if this is not true then this is just a layer between the the woodwork and is uh, essentially in um, sometimes something kind of glued into the, the uh, glass fiber reinforced plastic the hull itself is too rigid actually to be of this material but what do i know i do not know actually <laughs> okay it's going it's going dark and therefore i decide to leave it for now in this uh state and i will We'll get rid of the garbage into a nice sack and I will cover the boat with the much much longer cover. Oh, that's the cover. It's quite big. Too big to be honest but maybe this will hold up the water for the next few days. That's all. Bye bye.